Hello, my name is Victoria and today we are going to learn about what is CSS. Let's go! CSS is a design language that is created to make the process of making web pages presentable. It defines web page styles such as design, layout and display variations for different devices and screen sizes. Before, tags such as font, color, background style, border and size had to be repeated on each web page. For example, creating a huge website with fonts and color information on every page would be a very expensive and long procedure. So, CSS was developed to solve this issue. The relationship between HTML and CSS is strongly tied together. The core of your page is HTML which contains all of the headers, text and any images you wish to include. CSS controls how the page looks, such as modifying fonts and background colors. CSS is not technically a necessity and the website can run without CSS, but you obviously wouldn't want to look at the site that only uses HTML because it would look quite empty. The difference between a website that uses CSS and one that doesn't is huge and obvious. You may have come across a website that fails to load correctly and has a white background with mostly blue and black text. This means that the CSS part of the site did not load successfully or does not exist at all. CSS works by allowing you to combine rules with the elements in the HTML document. These rules define how the component's content should be presented. A rule set is created of a selector and declaration block. The selector points to the HTML element you want to style. The declaration block sets out how the element referred to whether the selector should be styled. Like I mentioned before, HTML was never designed to include style components, just page markup. For example, this is a paragraph. But if you want to style the paragraph, you select an element and then indicate what you want to do with it. For example, I want to change color, text alignment and background color, so I added this code. So CSS lets you stylize everything on a different file thus creating the style there and later on integrating on the CSS file on top of the HTML markup. This makes the actual HTML markup much cleaner and easier to maintain. But there are different styles of CSS, so let's quickly go over each style. Let's start with the internal style. An internal CSS defines a style for a single HTML page. CSS styles done this way are loaded each time a website is refreshed, which may increase loading time. However, having everything on one page makes it easier to share the template for a preview. The external method may be the most convenient. It is used to define the style for many HTML sites and all of the work is done externally in the .css file. This indicates that you can do all of your design in a separate file and then apply the CSS to any page. Also, this type of style can improve loading time. And the last one is the inline style. An inline CSS applies a unique style to a single HTML element. Inline works with the components that have style tag. Because each component must be styled, but it may not be the best or fastest way to handle CSS. However, it can be useful, for example, if you don't have access to the CSS files or want to change a single element quickly. And that's it! Now you know about CSS. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to Hostinger Academy. Bye!